In my personal experience, if you don't have a real passion for something, it's very hard to be really successful. You might be successful, but if you want to reach the pinnacle of success in whatever you do in life, I think you need a really strong ambition and a really strong passion. They are the real keys for me, and probably the third aspect that I really value in all of that is loyalty. Yeah, well, I'm obviously a very driven person. I'm a workaholic. I love challenge. Uh, I love the opportunity of challenge. The more challenging the situation, really, the more I enjoy it, which sounds slightly perverse, but, but it's, uh, it's pretty much true in everything I've done. I've had a really eclectic life. I've really, my working life has really swapped between sport and entertainment and entertainment and sport. Uh, the whole 40 years and it's been, um, it's been a hell of a ride. It's probably not a moment, there's just things that I'm immensely proud of that you know were really big challenges and took a lot of uh, determination and, and uh, drive to get across the line. Things like the success of making V8 supercar, uh, the enormous success that it was uh, certainly at the time. I've really enjoyed some of the great musical shows that I've put together, you know, and really eclectic things like, you know, convincing Cold Chisel to reform uh, when it was an incredibly difficult challenge. Um, obviously, going way back in my career, talking Frank Sinatra into coming to Australia. But, you know, then there's been sort of lots of really great moments. Uh, winning a Tony on Broadway was obviously a great moment. Winning a Lawrence Olivia Award. I've really enjoyed the challenge of the Gold Coast Suns now. People might say, well, that's kind of weird because you haven't had a real moment of sustained success. But the, the journey uh, has been so exhilarating to be on. And you just know when you get into my station of life, you just know when you're on the right journey. And there's no question that the Gold Coast Suns were on the right journey. Great footy clubs, in my humble opinion, are about great people. You've got to have the right people in the right key roles uh, to find sustained success. And there is no question we've now reached that time at the Suns. We've got a lot of really good people, both in a men and obviously in the football department. And clearly that's now reflected in the sort of personnel and the sort of quality of men we've got in our football team. And I think we're on the threshold of a really exciting three to five year period at the Suns and I think we're going to find not only success, we're going to find sustained success and we're going to go on to a great period in the history of this footy club and there's no question under the leadership of Stuart Jew, um, all those parts of the puzzle are slowly but surely all falling into place. Ah, oh, well on current uh, viewing you'd have to give that mantle to Gil McLaughlin. I think Gil's led uh, which he proved this year in a very difficult COVID year. I think Gil has shown outstanding leadership and there's a reason why we're the number one sport in the country and I think Gil's leadership is a big part of that.